MiG-41 Goanna B hypersonic fighter interceptor or 6th generation fighter aircraft. The MiG-41 is currently designed as fighter interceptor with hypersonic speed door. It could be extended to a 6th generation if future development persist. The Russians depends on the flank of fighters to fill the gap of 5th generation capabilities, naming it 4 plus plus generation. It would be pointless to design a 5th generation fighter when the United States and Europe has started to discuss about the capabilities of the 6th generation. If the Russians were to go for a 5th generation then it would be way behind. By the time Russians introduce into production the 5th generation, the West would have just released the 6th generation fighter. So, the MiG-41 is currently on the drawing board and aims to be introduced sometime in 2027 to 2030 with initial operation to begin in 2035 as a sixth generation. This would be the probable date that the Americans and Europeans would be introducing or probably starting to field their sixth generation fighters. The only fifth generation fighter in Russia is the Sukhoi Su-57 stealth fighter which was recently introduced and field in war test in Syria lately. Just see how late they came into the field as compared to the late 90s F-22. The MiG-41 is being developed at a snail pace due to bad economic situation in Russia. This technology demonstrator looks at what MiG can learn from stealth new technologies and digitalization. It should be the from this aircraft that MiG will develop the next generation MiG-41. Critical of course is engine technology which the Russians seems to have some issues that has affected the Su-57 stealth fighter with India. The MiG-41, if and when funding is available could probably be the next sixth generation fighter for the Russian Air Force. MiG could potentially work on this jet for an additional several more years. It could somehow be a small version of the demonstrator as the Bureau is very good at building smaller fighters compared to the Sukhoi company. Single engine is the current design emphasis in MiG-41 design. It should be equipped with short burst laser weapons as well as various missiles to meet short to long range mission. We could expect MiG to come out with some form design possibilities but in a twin engine model, it is one of the ideas. The Russians preference now is focusing on building combat power which means more in quantity and quality. A single engine approach is best met just like how the MiG-21 and MiG-23 did for the Soviet Air Forces. The jet should employ a balance of stealth anti-radar technologies, single and probably two-seat pilot jet that could hover on the same approach to that of the F-16D and the F-A-18D slash F with approach towards what the Russians are promoting now, the MiG-35 two-seat model for multi-role capabilities. The plane should be using virtual technology in the form of helmet-mounted sight where cockpit visual is no longer required. The pilot is able to see 360 degrees and the helmet provides information, radar targets and designation all round. Probable use of small short range laser weapons on the front and aft mounting as well anti-am. The jet could be on the same scale as that of the F-35 with a higher fuel fraction to cover long range mission on internal fuel. Other aspect would be a small weapons by plus weapons carried on special pods to reduce radar signature. Network centric objective is employed to drive away the need to be dependent on CGI as well as a wax. It would employ AI to identify and qualify threats as well as expand weapons against any targets on the ground without pilot interference. The MiG-41 could also network link to armed UAV on single missions. This helps to reduce danger when fielding pilots in missions. The MiG-31 is the fastest military aircraft around, it will eventually have to make way for newer and more advanced types of aircraft.
The main features of the MiG-41 are not yet known, but it is reported that the MiG-41 is designed to fly at Mach 4.0 and even Mach 4.3. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.